Hello, movie lovers. As always, I hope you do enjoy the video. Bob for Bob's movie review here. And today I'm bringing you my review of I Will Never Leave You Alone. This one will be available on VOD and digital October 18th, 2024 from Dark Sky Films. It does have a one hour and 33 minute runtime. Thank you to Dark Sky Films for sending over a screener for review. Today we're diving into the strange and mysterious world of I Will Never Leave You Alone, a new release from Dark Sky Films. This one stars Kenneth Trulio as Richard, a man recently released from prison, but the circumstances are anything but ordinary. The movie kicks off with Richard's release, but right away things get odd, and I mean really odd. For reasons that are never quite explained, Richard is sent to a remote house instead of back to society. He's not free. The windows are boarded up, the doors are locked, and there's definitely a prisoner vibe here. Plus, the groundskeeper gives Richard an ominous warning, telling him that most people don't make it more than four days in the house. Okay, but what does that even mean? The film never really tells us. And that's where a lot of the confusion comes in. Throughout the film, we're shown flashbacks of Richard's past, particularly his troubled relationship with his wife. There's this recurring tension about his role as a father, but it doesn't fully explain why he ended up in prison to begin with. I mean, I think I could place the pieces together, but the movie leaves too much to the imagination. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with half the pieces missing. Now, there's also the suggestion that some evil force might be lurking within the house, but it's hard to say if that's really the case or just another thread that's left dangling. Seriously, I Will Never Leave You Alone throws out so many storylines that it's hard to keep up. It's like they're playing a game of guess the plot, but no one told the audience the rules. Speaking of unanswered questions, who's behind Richard's situation? Was it the realtor, his parole officer, a supernatural force? We never get answers, and by the end, I was scratching my head just as much as I was at the start. The movie wants to be mysterious, but it ends up being more frustrating than anything. On the acting front, Kenneth Trulio, as Richard does a decent job with the material he's given. Although it's worth noting that Richard doesn't speak. Yep, you're watching a movie about a guy who's a mute the entire time. Not exactly riveting dialogue, but credit to Trulio for conveying emotion and struggle without words. He tries to breathe life into the role, even if the script doesn't give him much to work with. Visually, the film has some interesting moments. There are a few eerie shots and even a couple of kills that give it some bite. But here's the thing, even with those moments, the story just doesn't stick together. You can have as many eerie vibes and haunting flashbacks as you want, but without a clear narrative, the tension fizzles out. I get that sometimes movies leave things open-ended to make you think, but this one left me too in the dark. It feels like a series of ideas and scenes that never quite connect. In the end, I Will Never Leave You Alone might leave you feeling a little too alone in trying to figure out what's going on. I wanted to root for Richard, but the movie kept me guessing and not in a good way. So if you're a fan of surreal, puzzling horror, maybe this will speak to you. But for me, it didn't quite hit the mark. I'm giving this one a 1 out of 5. Some potential here, but ultimately, too many unanswered questions and not enough payoff. Thanks again to Dark Sky Films for the screener, and I'll catch you all in the next review. Does he say it's all worth seeing? But just some dreams. Pop smoothie reviews.